everyone. This is Kev Says Part 3. And this is really about Arsenal's situation right now after six games. Three wins, three defeats. Um, it's got quite a few people up and down. Uh, there's criticism flying about left, right and centre. There's <laughs> the Scrod and Must Mustafi coming in out of nowhere. There's no Saliba. Um, we've not seen him on the pitch yet. The team ain't playing ain't playing well at the moment at all. And it seems like this talk is Arteta for real, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I'd like to put some some lay down some some points. Uh, I think Mikel Arteta is for real. And I think he's still having to work with players who ain't good enough. Um, that's just the bottom line. I know the team ain't playing well, but we saw a snippet of what he can do in the cup um, last season and saw some great performances at the back end of after restart, after a, quite a shaky start. Listen, there's questions that, you know, we don't beat the, 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 the big boys. Well, we have beat the big boys. And I'm not interested in what people say about Liverpool had the beach slippers on. I don't care. We beat City, we beat Liverpool, we beat Chelsea back in the last season. We beat Liverpool again in the Community Shield, going up to Anfield. We lost earlier on in the season. And, um, you know, it, it happens. Went to City, lost 1-0 when really, if we were playing better, we fancied our chances. Let's be honest, we fancied our chances. And then losing to Leicester, we should have beat Leicester, but we didn't because we're not playing well enough. And that's the bottom line. It won't last forever, um, this, this tough run of form. And I'm sure the form will turn. But when is the operative question? When will it turn? Um, the football ain't great at the moment. It's, uh, it's painful to watch at times. Um, but I still think we need to get Sabayas a bit further up the pitch. I really do. Um, we, we saw Xhaka going into the back four or three or whatever it is. And I, don't, I think that's a recipe for disaster. Leicester targeted him. Uh, getting Cengiz under beyond him for their goal. Forget worrying about Mustafi and, and Vardy. I think you've got to look at the source if you if you have a proper defender there. Cengiz under doesn't get that space because on the turn, Xhaka can't turn. Um, so Cengiz under gets through. Gabriel has to come across and obviously puts it across and Vardy's there free um, to score. So let's not get all bent out of shape, you know, it's, it's one of them things. Their game plan worked on us. We couldn't get our noses in front. Um, if we'd have get our, got our noses in front, then we win the game. But we didn't. Don't be too disappointed, people. I'm telling you, it's, it's, things like this do happen. It is the way it's going for us at the moment. It's just that way. We haven't played well since Fulham. And obviously, we're the stronger team. We're better than Fulham. And... Um, you know, we, we, we showed what we can be. But I think that's going to come. I really do. I think that's going to come. I think Mikel Arteta will get it right. I'm patient about it. I have seen enough, I believe. I've seen enough to see what he wants to do and the players he wants. But sometimes um, he's, 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 he makes mistakes. Listen, who doesn't make mistakes? So I am happy to give him the time. Um, he bought himself a bit of time by winning the FA Cup. And I'm not saying that's the be-all and end-all because it's a new season now. Of course it is. But it's going to take a little bit of time. You know, he hasn't, he hasn't been managing the club hands-on for a, a, a season. He's been at the club a season, but we've had lockdown, etc. So he hasn't been managing these guys for a season yet. So let's give him a little bit of leeway. Um, not saying that we can't criticise. Of course we can criticise if it's deserved. Uh, but we're just not playing well as a team at the moment. And uh, people are told about we need creativity. We, we, we've got creativity. We're just not playing well enough at the moment. That's all. That's it. We are not playing well enough at the moment. So, you know, we're going to have to, gonna have to take this one on the, on the chin. We're going to have to take the pain. And we're going to have to move past it. Because if we want... If we want the good times, we have to go through it. 
and it's painful, but we've been through it before. So let's harden ourselves. Let's get tough. We have to go through it again. Hey, because you know what's happening on the other side? On the other side of it is, is, the, is the good time. So you've got to go through. You've got to walk across that broken glass. So let's do it. Bloody feet and all. Let's get across the broken glass and get those good times again. Okay? No panic. We're just not playing well enough right now to, to, to beat the big boys. That's all. But we will. We'll get there. I'm sure of it. So give Arteta a little bit of leeway. And uh, people could talk about processes and all that. It, it's going to happen. Just because you buy, buy certain players, it just doesn't happen like that. We've seen that these players like Gabriel and Partey, etc., can make us better. And it will make us better. But we've got to be playing well. Seven out of 11 players have to be playing well for us to really to get over the line. Eight would do, nine would do, obviously, but we're just not playing well enough. This uh, Gabriel's been playing, been playing great. Saka's been playing great. Tierney, we know Tierney's a consistent performer, um, but elsewhere, we're just not playing well enough. Okay, that's the end of this, Kev says.